Cauchy Euler equation. And make sure you say Euler. If you say Euler, the math people will laugh at you. I found that up the hard way. Uh, we're going to look for the general form right here. AX squared Y double prime plus BX Y prime plus CY equals F at X. Key thing to just keep your eye out for is it looks like a polynomial. You have X squared, X, and then some constant. Uh, so we're going to solve the homogeneous first. And to do that, uh, it's a little bit different than what you would see in a regular equation. First thing you're going to do is we're going to assume that the solution has the form y equals x at s, or x to the power of s, sorry. And the reason we do that is because it works, just accept it. So you take your two derivatives here, y prime and y double prime, and you're going to sub those into the original equation, and that will give you s1, s2, it'll reduce itself out into a um, into a quadratic equation, and you can just solve that the way you would any quadratic. Uh, so then you'll have your solution looks like this, c1, x to the power of s1, plus c2, x to the power of s2, and that's your uh, two homogeneous solutions right there. So for the non-homogeneous part, take our same equation here, and we just put it into this form. Uh, you, a stays the same, becomes b minus a right here, c stays the same, and you want f at e to the t. Uh, also notice the x's have gone away. The reason you can do that is, again, because it works, just accept it. Uh, so you solve it as before, you'll get your partic particular solution as just some function, and then you're going to back substitute, because of course you did this substitution right here, f at e to the t, so you're going to back substitute to get it back as a function of x. Okay, let's do an example. So we have our equation here, x squared, y double prime, plus 2xy prime, minus 2y, equals the natural log of x cubed. So we're going to do our homogeneous solution here. We've assumed that the solution has the form x to the power of s. We've taken our two derivatives here. And now all I've done here is just plug it right it back into here. So y for y, y prime, y prime, y prime, double prime, y double prime. Right there. And this is just a little bit of reduction and simplification. You see you can pull out the x to the power of s. And this just leaves you with a quadratic equation. You factor that and solve it. You get s1 equals 1, s2 equals negative 2. So our homogeneous solution looks like this. You get c1 x to the power of s1, which is just 1 here, and c2, x to the power of s2. For a non-homogeneous solution, this is just the original equation again. So we're going to do our transformation there. So the x's have dropped away. Here, a is the same. Here, we have b minus a, so 2 minus 1 is 1. c is the same. And we have f at e to the t. So we replaced x with e to the t, so you get natural log e to the 3t. And of course, using log rules, 3t comes out, natural log of e, that's just 1. Nice and simple. So our uh, particular solution here, we're going to do method of uh, undetermined coefficients. So we just assume it has that form, take our derivatives, plug it back in, solve it out. Uh, you get this your particular solution, negative 3 halves t minus 3 quarters. Here that is, same, same equation. Uh, but remember, we did this uh, when we did our transformation, so we're just going to reverse that, put it back in, and you get this, uh, which is negative 3 halves natural log x minus 3 quarters. And if you put it into Wolfram Alpha, uh, will actually give you this. They've just taken the 3 here using log rules and just put it into the natural log. So then combining with our homogeneous solution, you have c1, x to the power of s1, which is 1, plus c2, x to the power of s2, minus our, or plus our uh, particular solution, which we found up here. And that's it. If you don't believe me, I did this exact same equation in the variation of parameters video. Uh, you can click to see that one. Math isn't so hard when you have the right tutor. Be sure to check out the description for links to other courses and topics.
Also remember to tell your friends about the Kay Foley channel.